Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can take the database backup from the Spotty package. So there is a manual way you can do this uh, using manual. So if you are using a lot of packages earlier, so you don't need to install the package. So it's your uh, upon your requirements. Uh, or if you want to extend some features, add some feature in your application, so uh, this package will provide you a lot of features, right? So if you are not familiar with this one, you can watch my previous videos. This is very useful, right? So there is uh, only you need to install the uh, install this project and then publish its file, and then you need to set up your database connection. That's it, and then you need to. In my uh, previous video, I set up this. Uh, by default it's set up uh, uh, it's uh, set up this uh, uh, local connection so let me find this uh, where it is local connection and uh, it's uh, where it is and yes its type is disk type is local so how you can find uh, where it, it will be stored so you can go to the config file and in the config file you need to uh, find this file system dot php file so here you can check that uh, how many disks are available in by default laravel project and how uh, you can also create your manual stuff here in the array form right so this way uh, this local will be set up so um, you can set up this uh, through public so it will create this in the public so in our case in the previous video let me uh, show the this one is a storage path it will demonstrate this uh, storage directory and then in the storage there is a app directory so it will create this in the app directory so there is app directory right so hope you understood this uh, concept so let me uh, go to uh, come to our topic so our topic is how we can create this through manual process right so this is a article from itsolutionstuff.com and it's uh, this guy is written very well so let me uh, show you it's created a new project and then it's created a command which we created in our project but we don't need this in the previous project right so how you can do this this these command are used for useful for scheduling right and so the command is php artisan make command and then database backup so then you need to go here and then this will create uh, this file in the app slash console directory so let me uh, go there this one app and then in the app console and in the commands there will be your command which you created for okay and then this uh, file look like this so let me open this so uh, test uh, db backup okay and uh, this will be here you need to specify your command name so this is used for when you are calling this command Okay, I name this DB backup and then this would be a description so you can add the description or it's optional stuff and here you need to define your all of the logic, right? So let's uh, copy all of the logic here you need to specify like this. So let me uh, copy this okay and remove this uh, with this return and here you need to add the carbon at the top. So my text editor will add this uh, automatically at the top and it's added and then you need to uh, copy this so username password and stuff like that so it's already added uh, in my case and uh, it's storing this into the app slash backup and then file name right and so i configured my database in the previous video so in my env you need to set this your env file because uh, we are referencing uh, referencing these env variables there right okay and then uh, here it's so uh, yes it's good then you need to execute this command so how you can execute this command so let's go to the app directory and open the console and in the console directory there is a kernel.php remember you don't need to go to this http kernel right and open this kernel.php file and here you need to execute your command so what is our command our command is db backup db backup save this one and now the time is to go here and check that run schedule run and it's running and uh, uh, remember my package is also installed right so uh, let me open the uh, not this one run open the public and there is no file so let me check the path okay 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 
and the path would be storage and in the storage there is there will be a directory of backup hmm. uh, backup 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 but there is no directory weird stuff i already told you that uh, i am having uh, some problem with this uh, you know, file permission so that's why it's not uh, creating this uh, file so in your case it will uh, create a backup directory and in the backup directory it will create this uh, file with the this name so hope you learned a lot from this tutorial and uh, subscribe to youtube channel and stay connected bye bye